You know, as coaches, we are human. We're not exempt from going through things. We're not exempt to, you know, not feel emotions and not in, you know, deep growth and deep, deep things that happen to us, right? We're, we're, we're going through things all the time and I'm a human, right? So coaches are humans. And I think for a very long time, I didn't understand that concept for myself. Welcome, Badass Manifester. I am so glad you are here. I'm your host and head coach, Ashley Gordon, master mindset and manifestation biz expert, founder of the Quantum Coaching Certification, and multiple six-figure entrepreneur obsessed with empowering you to create quantum leaps in your energy, your life, and your business. This is the show to help you make magic your everyday normal where the ripple effect is real, and the guest experts are world class. My mission is to power your conscious and subconscious mind with manifestation teachings, business tools, and coaching techniques to put your potential into action. Consider this your weekly up level. Are you ready for quantum transformation? Let's do this. What's going on, Badass Manifestors? I'm coming in hot with a solo episode. I actually did a live video for the first time in a million years, and I recorded it for the podcast because I had a really cool, interesting conversation with someone last week, and I thought it was relevant because she asked me if I was an expert at life in order to be a life coach. So I'm going to share this interaction with you and just let you in on you know behind the scenes of what what it means to be an expert at being a life coach and what that could look like for you. And then at the end, I'm going to share some tips for you if to recognize if you are this person for other people in their life. So here's the story. Enjoy it. I can't wait. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you on the flip. I went to this restaurant for lunch, brunch, whatever you want to call it, and I was sitting there, and I saw my friend who was serving at the restaurant, And she was telling her employee that, um, like her fellow employee, that um, that I was I've been her coach and mentor for years. She's like, yeah, she's been my life coach for years. This is Ashley. She was introducing me, and I could see that this this waitress, her wheels were turning, and I was just kind of waiting for a question. Like I knew I knew that she was going to ask me a question, and I loved I loved her question. Um, So. So we're sitting there and she looks at me and she comes up and she's like, so um, I don't know how to say this, but you know, what qualifies you to be a life coach for somebody? That seems like a really, you know, big job or, you know, like that seems like a big thing. And she says, so she proceeded to ask, do you have to be an expert at life to be a life coach? And I sat back because I wanted to, like I, my my initial reaction was I wanted to laugh, but she was genuinely wondering, like she genuinely had no idea what qualified someone to be a coach to somebody else. And so I wanted to give her like a really good answer. And what came through me was something along the lines of what I shared yesterday on Instagram, which was that, you know, as coaches, we are human. We're not exempt from going through things. We're not exempt to, to, you know, not feel emotions and not be, you know, in, you know, deep growth and deep, deep things that happen to us, right? We're, we're, we're going through things all the time. And so I said, yeah, I'm definitely not an expert at life (laughs) for sure. Like not an expert at life and I'm a human. Right. So coaches are humans. And I think for a very long time, I didn't understand that concept for myself because I thought that I had to do life perfectly in order to be qualified to be a coach. If you've ever thought that, I would love, you know, some affirmation there. Like if you've ever had that thought cross your mind or like if I'm not practicing what I preach 100 percent of the time, then I'm not good enough at being a coach or I'm not a real coach or whatever the story or narrative was that used to play out for me. And what I realized was that what I told her was that, you know, 
being a coach doesn't mean you're a perfect human or have to be perfect at everything you do or have to do everything the right way, right? Being a coach means that you are perfectly imperfect, but you just have more tools to deal with life as life comes through, right? So you have more tools in your toolbox. And here's the thing, you guys. If you are a coach or you're thinking about becoming a coach, and I tell this to all my students inside of the Quantum Coaching Academy, our certification program that trains coaches, here's the thing, okay? Listen up. You do not have to be an expert at life. What you get to be is an expert at your coaching craft. You don't have to be an expert at life, but you have to be an expert at your coaching craft. And so in order to be an expert at your coaching craft, you get trained, right? You get really trained up. You become world class at what you do. You are a stand for educating yourself in your craft, right? You're a stand for being an amazing coach and helping your clients create transformation. So when I told her that I'm tr- I'm trained in what I do and I'm an expert at what I do, but I'm not an expert at life, especially my life, right? Like it's it's all perfectly imperfect. And here's the beautiful thing. In order to be a really impactful life coach or a spiritual coach or any kind of coach you want to be, business coach, it doesn't matter. You don't have to know what somebody else has been through. You don't have to have the same life experience as somebody else. You don't have to know the pain and the suffering that somebody has been through in order to effectively and powerfully coach them through a transformation. There is so much relief in that personally. There's so much of an exhale in that because it really takes the pressure off of you as the as the coach to have to know exactly what someone's been through or have had to have the same exact life experience as somebody else in order to help them. Because in reality, even if you had the same exact experience as somebody else, it's still different. It's still a completely different experience. The common thread that we all share as humans is that we have different experiences, but our emotions are very similar, right? So maybe you and I have gone through something totally different, but we both felt not good enough or we both felt sad or we both felt inadequate in some way, right? Those are what we work with in coaching. We don't have to work with the experience itself. We get to work with knowing how to be masterful around helping someone transform and transcend whatever is blocking them up from having a transformation, right? We get to be an expert at how to navigate those big emotions with our clients. We get to be an expert at how to take someone through a really powerful releasing process. We get to be an expert at how to help someone rewire their subconscious mind. That's what we get to be an expert at not life itself, right? And although I think so many of us have such beautiful perspectives on life and understand life in a profound way and understand how the universe works and we're embodying, you know, these principles and these tools and these learnings, and we still aren't experts. We don't know how to be human fully. We're learning every day, aren't we? So I just wanted to share that for a couple reasons, right? Number one, as coaches, we're just not exempt from going through things. Like I have been going through a lot of things that I haven't been sharing um, very publicly yet. And I'm still conducting my business and able to support my clients, right? Um, I share this also because this person asked this question in such a genuine way. Like she genuinely was like, So do you have to be an expert at life to be a life coach? Like, I just don't understand, like, how you can be a life coach to somebody. And I wanted you to know this because I know on Instagram and I know on social media, you're probably following a million coaches. You're probably followed by a million coaches. And consider that there are so many people out there that don't even know that they need you, that don't even know how a coach can support them because they don't even know what it is. So I share this because I see so many of of my students that go through the Quantum Coaching Academy, they're getting educated not only on what coaching is, the power of coaching, how to coach powerfully, how to create transformation for their clients, learning all these skills and tools, 
But, and they're also starting to educate their their audience and community on what coaching is and what it isn't. Because here's the thing, people don't know. They don't know what they don't know. And not everybody knows what a life coach is. And so if you want people to hire you for the transformation that you're going to provide to them, how can they pay you if they don't even know what it is that they're getting or they don't even know what it is that you're providing to them? So <clears throat> you get to be really um, like clear in your marketing and clear in your messaging to share with people exactly how you can help them and and sharing your expertise as a coach because that shit sells, right? Like if you have clients that you've helped gone through a massive transformation, those testimonials start to speak for themselves and sell your coaching for your for for yourself, for you. So just little nuggets I wanted to drop. Would love to know how this is supporting you, if this is making sense, um, if this is landing with you, what you're learning from this conversation so far. Um, and, you know, just a reminder to you, like, we know what we do, right? We know what our gifts are. We know what we offer to the world. We know, um, for the most part, I would say most of us know, like, we know the power of coaching. We know the power of transformation. And what you do probably comes very naturally to you. And consider that the most basic things that you know about coaching, the most basic things that you know about your, your niche or your craft, most people don't. And in the beginning when I started as a manifestation coach, I had to learn that very quickly. I just thought everybody knows manifestation. Like I'm not really teaching anybody anything new. Everybody knows how to use the power of their mind. No, they don't, right? Like the littlest things that you know, that you embody every single day, other people don't. So don't take those little things for granted. Instead, use them as opportunities to educate your community. And the more that you can educate your community, the more people will understand what you do. And the more people understand what you do, what happens? The more they'll be able to support to support your business. The more they'll be able to hire you because they'll know that they have a problem and you have a solution. And that's really the basis of sales in general, right? Like you're coaching because you can help someone have a transformation, not because you're an expert at life, but because you're an expert at your craft. And they have something that they want to move through. They have, you know, they they have something that they are desiring to get to the next level in. And you can help them do that. So that's, Really the basis of the message tonight, um, I wanted to, you know, share that with you guys because it really stuck with me when she asked me that question, <clears throat> so much so that I'm actually turning this into a podcast. And I wanted to just sit on here for a few more minutes and take any questions that you guys have, if there's any questions coming up or anything you want to ask about coaching, anything you want to ask about QCA, anything that you want to know about being an expert at your craft. I'm available for that right now for a few minutes. So feel free to drop it in there. Or if you want to come on live with me, I'm happy to do that as well. Um, Something else I wanted to share is that for the month of April, uh, we're publicly launching the Quantum Coaching Academy again next month in May. And for the month of April, we're in early enrollment. So if you've been wanting to join QCA, you've been thinking about it, you've been waiting for early enrollment, now is the time. The waitlist is officially open. And what that means is you'll hop on the waitlist, you'll get an email to apply early, and we'll hop on an application call. And we'll make sure that it's the right fit for you. And you can get all of your questions answered about the program and anything you want to ask me at all. Um, and <clears throat> that's basically it. So, so now let's switch gears a little bit. How do you know if you are meant to be a life coach? I think that's a question that I've definitely asked myself in the past. And here are just some ways to recognize that you may already be coaching the people in your life. And so bringing that to your attention is super important. If you are the person, I think this is the biggest thing for me. I was always the person that people would go to for advice. And I thought advice was coaching at the time, but obviously, well, I didn't think advice was coaching because I didn't realize what was happening, but I was always that person. Even when I was 13 years old, 
I would be babysitting and the parents would come would come home excuse me and the mom would just pour her heart and soul out to me and I was 13 and I guess I was just really good at holding space for people so consider that you might already be that person in your world where people are constantly calling do you ever find yourself like just constantly on the phone with people in your life constantly giving them you know advice or giving them an ear to listen or a shoulder to cry on that to me is is saying that you are a safe space for someone and sure not everyone who's a safe space is meant to be a coach but I think that when that's brought to your awareness It ignites this feeling of like, whoa, is this my calling? Like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? And I think it could be really easy to deny it. So that would be my number two to know if you're meant to be a life coach. If you have been feeling that inkling of a calling, but you've been denying yourself of that and not listening to that nudge, not listening to that intuition because you're too afraid or because you don't think you're good enough or because you don't know what you're doing. Like, of course you don't know what you're doing. You're not trained. You don't know what you're doing yet. But you are that person for people and you do have this calling. And isn't that enough to move forward? So those are two things. The third thing to distinguish if you are asking yourself, am I meant to be a life coach, is to Ask yourself, what lights you up the most in life? What lights you up the most? And I would say 99.9% of people tell me that they want to help other people. They just don't know the capacity to do it in. And if you have that feeling to help other people, and you might not know what that looks like right now, life coaching could be a great starting point. The skills that you learn as a coach, they're transferable to anything that you do. They will never leave you astray. They will always support you, whether it's just in your life with your, not just, but whether it's with your family, whether it's with your friends, whether it's um, at your corporate job, whatever it is, like those, the skills that you will learn to be a coach it with will forever change you into a better human. Um, so I would say those are some of the biggest things that identify, uh, people, um, when they're deciding whether or not this is really for them. And there's so many common limiting beliefs that, that show up. Um, and so if you're really seriously considering these questions, I have really exciting news. I actually launched another podcast what I launched another podcast you guys can you believe it I cannot believe it I launched another podcast it's called become the best coach it is an exclusive 10 episode podcast to help you know whether or not you're meant to be a coach and whether or not the quantum coaching academy is for you and so if you've been on the fence and you've been wrestling with yourself or you're curious or you're just interested in hearing my other podcast for 10 episodes, super bingeable, I have linked it in the show notes for you. Become the Best Coach is officially live. I'm so excited. It has been a passion project to launch this, to be able to put all this information in a short bingeable podcast. is super exciting. So if you're ready to become the best coach or learn more about becoming the best coach, definitely listen to that podcast. Yay! I haven't even officially launched it publicly like on my Instagram or anything. I feel like my podcast community gets everything first. So you guys are hearing it first. Hopefully by the time this comes out. I, I can't promise you that. But I, as of right now, when I'm recording this, you're hearing this first. So I'm super excited for that. If you have questions about anything that I talked about tonight, you can always DM me on Instagram. I'm here for you. I'm here to support you as always. I got your back. All right. Have a beautiful day or night wherever you are in the world. Whenever you're listening, I'm sending you so much love. Woo. We did some work today. Thank you so much for listening. You know I love my BAM fam. If this episode resonated with you, please share it with someone who you know would love it too because we live for the ripple effect over here. And how can you best support the show? Make sure you're subscribed, hit the five stars, and leave a review on iTunes and let me know how the podcast has impacted you. I love being part of your real-time journey, so screenshot the episode and tag me and my guests on Instagram at Manifest with Ash. Now say it with me. I am my own power source. 
I am the master of my own energy and I deserve everything that I desire. We don't just talk about it over here, we be about it. Now go get them.